Hey guys, Steve here. If you saw one of my last couple of videos, I showed you how you can wirelessly stream your GoPro Hero 7 or 8 into your Windows PC and into OBS Studio. Now, one of the questions I've been getting is, how do I make that work on a Mac? Now, that's what this video is going to be about today, is I'm going to show you an alternative to Mona Server that will work on a Mac. Now, the software that I'm going to be using today is software that I found up on GitHub and is super easy to use. So I'm going to leave a link to this software in the video description down below. It's going to be the very top link, so you can go ahead and you can click that. Now on that page, you're going to scroll down to the section that says usage and the very top it says download the latest version from the releases page. So if we click on that page at the very top, it's going to have a bunch of different options that you can download. Download the one that says Mac local RTMP server that ends in .dmg. That's going to be an image file that will work on a Mac. Now, I've already gone ahead and I've downloaded my version and I have it on my desktop right now. It is a red circle with a video camera in the middle. So go ahead, open up that file. And all you have to do to install it is drag the icon, the red circle into the folder. So just click, drag and drop, and it will install the software. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and you can close out of this and you can actually delete that image file for the software. You do not need it anymore. From there, go down to the very bottom to the launch pad, which is the rocket and scroll through there until you find that same icon that says local RTMP server. Go ahead and double click on that. Now the one confusing part is when you double click on it, nothing actually pops up on your screen, but the software is actually running and it's running up on the taskbar up by the clock at the very top. There it is a picture of a video camera with a slash through it. It's just black right now. If you click on that icon, a little window will pop up and it says no live streams currently. And then it shows us the RTMP address that we're going to be using. Now, this software that we just downloaded and installed is an RTMP server. And this allows us to connect our GoPro to this server and then have OBS Studio talk to this server as well and grab that video footage. Now, this software is great if you have multiple cameras as well because you can stream multiple devices to it, giving each camera their own specific um, IP address to connect to. Now in this window, it shows the RTMP URL of RTMP colon slash slash 127.0.0.1 slash live. Now 127.0.0.1 is a home address, which just generically refers to the computer itself. But in order for us to connect the GoPro to this server, we need to actually connect to the actual IP address of our computer. And we can do that by going up to the wireless settings at the very top scroll down to our open network preferences. In this window, it shows I'm connected to my Wi-Fi. And if I look a little bit to the right, it says Wi-Fi is connected to my home network and has the IP address of 192.168.0.78. Now that is unique to my specific computer. Yours will probably be something different, but very close and similar. Now, once we know the IP address of our computer, we can go ahead and we can set up our GoPro on our phone. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and turn on the GoPro. And now we can go ahead and go into our GoPro app. At the very bottom of the page, you're going to go all the way to the left at the bottom and click on the camera icon and select the button that says control your GoPro. And it's going to start connecting. And it will ask you if you want to join the wireless network of our GoPro. Go ahead and hit join. Now, once we have connected to the GoPro and it shows us our preview, we can now scroll over to the option that says live. And we can click on the button that says set up live. Here we're going to select our platform and we're going to select the option that says RTMP at the bottom. Now at the very top, we need to connect the GoPro to the same wireless network that our computer is connected to. Mine is already auto connected and now we're going to enter the RTMP URL. Now if we go back to the RTMP server on the computer and we use the RTMP URL as a template, we can replace the 127.0.0.1 with the URL of our computer. So on our phone, we're going to type in RTMP colon slash slash the IP address of our Mac slash live because that's what our template says. And then we need to go slash again and we need to give this camera a unique name. Now, if you had multiple cameras, every camera has its own individual name. For me, I'm just going to call this GP1. When I'm done with that, I can click off and I can go ahead and hit set up live stream. It'll take a second and then the bottom icon will say go live and we can click that. And if we look at the GoPro now, it has a little live icon at the very top of the window. Now, once we've set that up, we can go ahead and we can turn off our phone. We don't need to do anything else on our phone right now. 
If we look at the RTMP server on the Mac, you'll see that it is now updated, showing that we do have one stream available. Now with that set up, we can go ahead and we can open up OBS Studio. And down on the bottom where it says sources, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hit the plus sign and we're gonna add a VLC video source. Now, if you do not have VLC video source as an option, that could be because you do not have VLC installed on your computer. Now, VLC is a very powerful video player that plays pretty much any sort of video file that you can throw at it. It's free and easy to use, and I'll leave a link down below into the description. So if you do have that available already, go ahead and hit the VLC video source. We're gonna give it a new name, hit OK. And in this window, we're gonna hit the plus sign and we're gonna add a path or URL. Now in this window, we are gonna enter the same URL that we entered into our phone that will control the GoPro. So type in RTMP colon slash slash um, 192.168.0.78 slash live slash that unique name that we gave it. So I called mine GP1. Now in OBS Studio, you can also use the home address of 127.0.0.1 if you have OBS Studio and the RTMP server running on the same computer. Then in the future, you do not need to update OBS Studio every time you wanna to stream to it. So go ahead and hit okay, and then hit okay again. And in a couple seconds, you'll now see our stream is showing up in the OBS Studio window. And just like that, you can go ahead and you can resize it and do it, do what you want with it. Now, if I put my hand in here and I look at the screen, there is gonna be a couple second delay between what the camera sees and when it gets to the computer. And that's gonna be because it does take a little bit of time for the footage to go from the GoPro to the network, to the server on our computer, and then have OBS Studio grab that footage. Now, for some people that might be an issue, but overall, it's not that big of a deal considering this is all done for free. You do not need a capture card at all to do this. Now, if you're gonna be live streaming for a very long time, I would recommend that you probably use a USB cable to power the GoPro so it doesn't die on you and kill your live stream. And if you wanna be really safe, I would probably pull the battery out too while you're charging it. That way it's not trying to charge the battery and live stream at the same time. That could cause the GoPro to overheat and then it might shut down on its own in order to save itself from failure. So that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you guys found this information useful. And if you did, be sure to give me that like button so I know that I did a good job. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below too, and I will try to help you if I know the answer. Now be sure to check out the video description for links to everything I talked about today and for any information I may post after I upload this video. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. I will have more videos coming out in the future, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night.